a chicken and some mushrooms walk into a pastry. Will it make a good pie or not? Find out now. Hi. Hello everyone. My name is Rusty Pie Lover, ginger YouTuber and professional pie lord. Previously we did a review on the pepper steak garage pie and today I got another one from a different garage. So I recently left it up to Twitter because there were so many entries on how many pies we should be reviewing so I've made a list somewhere. But today thanks to that particular Twitter poll we are going to be reviewing chicken and mushroom pie. So just to give you an idea of what chicken and mushroom pie is, it's chicken and a mushroom sauce mixed together, baked into a pastry, much like this. As you can see here, we got a little bit of a smaller pie this time, but you can see it does say chicken and mushroom right over there, I think. So we're gonna try it and we're gonna see how it holds up and where we're gonna rank it amongst all our pies. So without further ado, First things first, how we're we gonna review it. Number one, the pastry and how crumbly it is. It's supposed to make a nice little crunch. I don't know why I'm poking it. Second of all, obviously pastry to filling. Third, the actual filling and flavor of it. And fourth, and fourth, the actual texture of the pie and to see how well it goes. For those that don't know, a garage pie is a pie that you can get at your local garage or fuel station. As far as I know, this is mostly just South African. This is why this is a staple for many of us. And chicken and mushroom is one of the more popular flavors. So we're gonna see how well this holds up. And as you can see there, beautiful as per usual. Now let's see, how far do we need to go to find the filling? Now previously, I was ostracized for using a knife and a fork. So we're gonna do this by hand today. So I'm gonna take the lid off just to let y'all see. There's quite a bit of pastry before you get to the actual filling. But you can see that's a pretty decent chicken and mushroom texture. Let's see how it holds up. All right. I'm still eating. Ew. So, this is all right. And you might be asking me, what's wrong? Well, number one, and not many places like to hear this, some people don't know how to make a good chicken and mushroom pie. What most of these places do is they keep it in the little heater for a little bit longer than it should be, and it dries out the chicken, and unfortunately, that chicken is a little bit dry. No, I'm not Gordon Ramsay, I just calls it like it is. Number two, there's quite a bit of pastry before you get to the actual filling over there. So the key to a good pie is you need a nice base to hold all your filling. However, you should have more filling than base. And unfortunately, the filling over here is also quite bland. There's not too much flavor going on and there has to be more emphasis on the sauce. So the filling, not so good. However, that crust, if I can grab a whole bunch of it, falls like snow on the mountain. Look at that. That's just gorgeous. Overall, I give this a 6 out of 10, purely just because that filling is not that fantastic. But there are places that can make a good chicken and mushroom. But as for a garage pie, this is not one of my favorites. And while it is a staple, this particular one doesn't hold up too well. But I still wouldn't throw it out of bed. You know, this chicken and mushroom pie, we could go on a hot date. Make sure that you are ready for heartburn, because most of these garage pies are gonna give you, luckily this time, I came prepared. You can get yourself all kinds of stuff, I'm not sponsored, but make sure you got something for heartburn later on. Thanks so much for watching, I hope you did enjoy that. If you did, please let me know, and let me know which pie I need to be reviewing next. We're gonna be doing garage pies, and then later on we'll be doing store-bought pies, and then we might just do a little tour of restaurants that offer pie in South Africa. This is from your pie lord. Enjoy.